excited. I'm excited. Okay. I was very really happy okay. to see you. Okay. If you say so, before we commence, guys, do us a favor. Uh, make sure you like the video right there. Very important for the growth of the channel and the algorithm. Like the video. We're not asking for money. Just stick a like on the video to make us push in the algorithm. You know, YouTube will be acting crazy. All we're asking for is to stick a like. So let's start with the first topic. Uh, the Carantini dilemma. Now, I like Carantini, right? Yeah. About two, three years ago, he was like, no, no player was... Better than him, in my opinion. At that time, the yeah, time skill on it. At that time, yeah. Yeah. or subsequently, more we improve, I will bring you better players. Just like in life, right? The shoes or cars we preferred two or three years ago are not same cars we prefer these days. Definitely. So, why are people feeling some type of way regarding the so-called mistreatment of Carantini? Bro, I don't know if you call it mistreatment. You see, this is the thing. We are not con fans are not consistent enough. You understand me? Okay. So do you remember when Asarenga was here? They were complaining. They would tell you one of the problems they had with Asarenga was he was too loyal to some players. You understand? Now you look at the situation of Kieran Tierney. We have improved and come over leaps and bounds. You understand? Now sure. Everybody talks about, oh, we should play defensive. You know, the problem is everyone thinks their opinion matters, either because they watch AFTV or whatever and think, oh, your opinion matters, your opinion holds weight. You understand? Can I interject if you don't mind? Yeah, sure. But if I follow your trail of thoughts and your logic, are you yeah. saying fans' opinions don't matter at all? Bro, this is the thing. A coach is a coach. You understand? Okay. Let's not get it twisted. You, as a fan, your opinion doesn't matter when it comes to coaching. If everybody's opinion mattered, then Arsenal wouldn't be Arsenal. It's the reality. You understand? If everybody... Oh, you but remember the fans are like the backbone of the club. Sorry to yeah, bro, talk across. That's sorry. The thing. Tactical... No, 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 no problem. Tactical when... It, tactically, when, when yeah. it comes to some decisions, fans' opinions don't matter. Let's get it straight. You're not going to tell me, okay, fine. Left for some people, when everybody was saying party should go, party, do you remember earlier in the I show? Remember. People, I, I remember, yeah, I bro, do. If you're now telling me that you're a coach and you're taking people's opinions, <laughs> you'll be the, the <laughs> club in trouble. Be <laughs> of course. So in this particular scenario, when Zinchenko came in, we all saw our game go to another level. Let's be truthful. Great. What did we see? Sure. We saw that we were able to beat press easily. We saw the way it was where Zinchenko could calm the game down. We saw different things panning out. So now... Am Can I, I push back to... on that? Yeah. So what are the fans that will say, yeah, Zinchenko came all... I gave all that dynamism to the, to the team. It, it comes yeah. to the midfield. It helps yeah. to, to fill up that midfield and is a bit more creative than... than uh, current journey, but so far, I'll say yeah. both defensively is suspect. How do you respond to that, bro? It's just this is the thing you can never satisfy everyone in football, and that's how I look at it. Um, you answer the question, I don't know, bro. Let me that's what I'm going to. I want to at Manchester okay. United. What is the complaint of many fans? He's too defensive, he can't attack, but his work is to be a right back, right? That's his job. People sure. complain about that. Alexander Arnold does what. He's more of an attacking not a lot of attacking. You understand? Yeah. People still complain about that. So, when Ateta was buying him, he bought him with an idea. Yes, he's a different variety to what, to what we have. We have two different okay. ones. We have Tierney and we have um, Zinchenko. But this is the thing that most people don't understand. Tierney three years ago would have been good for the arsenal of then. But you have to I look like at that. it. Yeah. Now... Tierney has to improve more, do more, to play more. We see even in preseason, the game against Nuremberg, he was trying to, you know, copy or, um, let's say, um, mirror what Zinchenko It was not to reenact what Zinchenko does. Yeah, exactly. he was trying. Even though it was, it's not natural you know to him. Saying? Yeah, it wasn't natural. But you still saw yeah. that even one thing that Ateta would have wanted from him is, let's be honest, right? Go and watch most of Tierney's videos. What makes you like a player is passion. 
You understand? Sometimes passion eclipses logic. I, I think sometimes, right? We we yeah. fans are too caught up in this passion <laughs> exhibition. Bro, like, uh, I, I bring quality passion to your passion. Is... I'm sorry. Bro, <laughs> I keep saying, I tell people, passion is the excuse of a player that doesn't have anything to give. Thank that you. That is the Because when Tierney was here, oh, he's passionate. He should be Arsenal captain. Now, today, all the guys yeah. are Arsenal captain. Are they complaining? They are not complaining. Why? Because that one is also bringing something they to the table. They want a bad faith. They want to get a bad faith. As they say, it doesn't show that that bullish, that English brute. No, some some, some people like, it doesn't show. Oh, they got, you can lead in different ways, right? But there's these traditional guys. They have English uh, captains. They are tall. They are, they are aggressive. They are talkative. But all the guy is the opposite of that. Right? Bro, what, bro for me, what, what I love about all the guys is not necessarily... All the guys still shout. All the guy encourages them. You can see he encourages them. But one thing you see about Odegaard is not to shout. He's on the pitch. When he dictates play, he presses to get the ball back. He wants to take a short turn, especially when we are losing. Look at when we are losing games, right? You see okay. Odegaard. Even when we are losing, we take a shot, we have a corner. He just jazz the fans up like, come on. You support okay. those things. Are Let's, things keep it. Let's keep it on. Let's keep it on TNA, yeah. right? So yeah, those things are important. For me, I just as feel... we as we approach a new season, yeah, we know Zincheko might not be ready mm -hmm. because he hasn't uh, taken part in any preseason friendly or matches. Right? Who Definitely. will be the first choice left back against Nottingham Forest? Well, we have different choices. It depends on what Arteta wants to go with tactically. Tactically, you understand? What does your God tell you? What does your God tell you? My God tells me that keep your or Timber. Wow. That's the fact. So no, you bro. are not even picking bro, see, see, see me, see me What I saw in preseason, right? He yeah. wants to play a certain way. You understand me? He sure. wants to play a certain way. Um, as I said, Arsenal fans don't give enough credit because even as Ateta is doing a good job, they still don't give him enough credit. Pep Guardiola uses four centre backs across his back line, right? Who was the person sure. who started using center backs as a fullback? It was Ateta. Ateta that started doing it. Ateta yeah. started get, got, didn't use attacking fullbacks. He started with Tomiyasu. Remember, I heard he was yeah, supposed Tomiyasu, to say yeah. Emerson Royal. The last minute he said no, he wanted Tomiyasu. Tomiyasu. Yeah. So Tomiyasu yeah. came. Tomiyasu is not the bombing guy that you expect. No. But Miyasu is consistent and very balanced. That is what you see. Yeah. He, he might not be the most prolific attacking wise, yes. But he's not. He's not a slouch. He's, he's doing that's his job. Exactly. That's the yeah. best description, and I like it like that. Now we look at um, Ben White at right back. He has been for me amazing because I didn't expect him to do that well. Now you sure. can still look at what he's doing with Kivio now. He's allowing Kivio. We saw it at Nuremberg. We saw it even at uh, for the MLS. I don't know. Maybe some time. I don't know if he did it against uh, Man Manchester United. Uh, he but came in late. I think. Yeah, he yeah. came in late towards the um, business end. Then you look at the um, situation against um, Barcelona, which he just Atleta just decided. You know what? People should just go out there. Anybody who watches the full game know that knows yeah. that we we better team. So whether we sure. lose or draw, he does it didn't really matter to him. But you could see that with Kivio, he wants that to mirror that thing that Pep did last season, where we are going to have a very, very packed defense. And we can we can also look at it and say the reason we can back our point up with Kivio or Timba is the fact that he would want a very because the, some of the goals we considered in preseason, we could have done better. But you can look at Barcelona sure. and say, unfortunately, you know, the, um, the would I say two mistakes, you understand? Uh, but the uh, uh, okay, maybe we should, which point we should spend one minute on, on this defense goal. I hear people saying so they should have slid in, so that was now, <laughs> let me let me finish for you. Uh, you you bring your point. I think sometimes we'll overly analyze goals. Now, let me ask you a question Do you think sometimes 
a move can be so great that you can't stop it. I think in football sometimes, some moves are so good, there's nothing you can do about it. Nothing. Bro, bro you, you know, then when people would be, then when, you know, as Arenga was playing his football, people would be analyzing, you should have done this, you should have done that. But you can't talk about the quality of the ball from Fabregas, from Ozil, or yeah. Kazola, from Rositsky, Hleb, Nasri, all these guys. Are you telling me it's easy to stop? If those guys were not giving those kinds of passes, they would not be, you know... Um, the quality, where we hear all those quality in them. Exactly. There wouldn't be... Clubs wouldn't be looking at them and saying, we want these guys, because they have... It's just like De Bruyne gives a pass. Are you telling me yeah. oh, you had a choice? No. The problem with that goal, when people even ask, I said, Saliba did everything he was supposed to do. People talk about that guy. That boy, Abdi, I've followed him that past season. He's a very, very good dribbler. You have to understand that he caught Saliba like where Saliba had to come and cover for Ben White. And Saliba did something. Sure. And I think fans expect that just because he's Saliba, Saliba should be should a, a Yeah. He should... See... There is no defender in the world that is impregnable. Let's stop that nonsense. It's a defender that can reduce to the barest minimum. So when Bro. fans think that because he's Soliba, nothing can go past him. It's, in, it's, in, it's crazy. Bro, the funny thing was the guy didn't even go past him. Saliba yeah. minimums. Bro, you know, this, this is the thing I was thinking. Arsenal fans will look at it and say, oh, Saliba should have done better. If it were Mustafi there, what do you think would have happened? <laughs> exactly. Bro, he wouldn't penalty. even penalty. The guy would beat him. What did Saliba do? If you check that goal, Saliba made sure the guy went away from goal. So he from couldn't goal, yeah. decide. Yes. If I was to blame anybody, I'd blame the guys in defense. Why was Rafinha free? You exactly. understand? Rafinha and I, was if free. you look at it critically, where was yeah. the DM? Because well, well, it caught it, but where because was the DM? Now, there was a hole, yes. So someone yeah. should have filled in. Now, Finia was not supposed to be free to have the first shot for Ramsdale to, you know, parry. Exactly. So that was the friend they were complaining. I just looked at these people as people who don't understand the game. You know, this is the thing. When you watch the game, you just look at it. Oh, Saliba should have done better. Yes, you can make sometimes a conclusion based off of first sight. Then when you go exactly. and analyze you see that, no, he did what he should have done. To have done, and for me that was fantastic. So we both agree that uh, Tierney might not be starting the first game of the season. <laughs> Bro, hard luck. He might. For me, hard luck. You understand? He, he might. He might not. Just start. say he might not be starting. I say he might yes. not be starting. Yeah. So, so if he starts that day, I, I will say. Oh. But the way I look at it and what Ateta is trying to do, Tierney is not the mm, guy yeah. that can play that. He's just runs and creates with for you that's what he does so can, can we i think some fans need to re-educate themselves and take away their sentimentality and attachment and, and this stand culture to particular players right we all have our favorite players but yeah. is within the manager's prerogative to pick the best team for the best game or for the day so take away your sentiment take away your attachment and just respect the manager's choice you might not like it sometimes it's his choice it's well, if that life. choice makes you win the EPL, what would you say? Exactly. Some people That's what play. they have an agenda. They have an agenda. <laughs> you remember, you remember the, the tweet I sent to you? Say everybody yeah, is saying we need a new striker until we get a new striker and he's playing every time. People start asking, what does uh, what do Jesus or whomever exactly? Have to Why do not playing Jesus? You understand? So, so it's the, the same they, way. They keep 